Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and I've spent uh, a rather lot of time actually looking around the internet uh, to various different websites and eBay and etc. so on and so forth, trying to find some airspace to variable capacitors at a sensible price. Now, they're elusive, um, very elusive. So what I've decided to do is build my own. So the first thing I need to do really is decide on a design. Now, what I'm going to go for is this, okay? Square plate design with a half circle underneath it. So that would be the pivot point and the, um, the top blade, if you like, would then revolve into uh, the lower plate and that will give us our our capacitor, a variable capacitor. So from that, I designed this as a template. Okay. So, see the template is a little bit better than the drawing. So this is a template. Um, so our bottom section, our bottom um, plate, if you like, is here. And our top plate is there. Excuse the size difference. Um, the reality is that this plate would be a lot bigger. Um, but this is a, a demonstration, if you like. So we're going to cut about 20 or so um, top plates out of aluminium and about the same number of bottom plates. And the idea is that they would stack side by side. Um, and then these would go on top on a fretted bar and they would rotate into the bottom plate and of course the more you mesh the higher the uh, capacitance uh, and so the the lower the frequency um anyway so this is what we're going to try to do there you go the postman's bin uh, i've purchased a scroll saw because i want to cut um, some capacitor plates out of um, some two millimeter aluminium so i've drawn some um, plates on this sheet um and uh, We'll see how we go. I cut uh, the larger sheet down to these two manageable sizes um, and now we're going to um, cut the, the plates out uh, roughly at first with, uh, with my jigsaw. I noticed you need a relatively slow cutting speed with this aluminium.
Okay, so I've put another <laughs> breadboard. Um, it's uh, seven millimeters away, I hope, to the uh, the blade. Yep, seven millimeters on the blade. So I purchased some um, aluminium tube, which is uh, one mil wall, six millimeters outside diameter, seven, sorry, um, four millimeters inside diameter. Uh, which, where's the camera on this? There. Okay. So the uh, tube, which has arrived a little bent, so I'm going to cut it there and then start cutting the, um, the spaces. Anyway, right. the next thing to do now is to uh, file the edges make it nice and smooth and uh, mark where we have to drill them What can I say? Here's attempt number one. Just uh, 
It's not brilliant, but it's uh, basically some threaded bar uh, with the spaces and the fins that I cut out of um, the aluminium, as you can see. Um, I've just literally just tightened them up, tightened them down, and uh, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, that might work, you know. Okay, let's test it. As you can see, um, zero not connected. Let's just quickly connect it up. And we have 19.6 picofads. And that is obviously totally unmeshed. And let's mesh it. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything to do this manually, so. 154 meshed. Uh, I can turn it. It's coming down lovely. I'll just take it back again. So there you go, as you can see. Um, for a first attempt, it's I'm I'm very pleased, I'm very pleased indeed. It's a it's a good piece of kit, and uh, I can't wait to uh, to refine it and then perhaps put it into use. Um, but there you are. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and perhaps even subscribe. Thanks for now. Bye bye.